Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here. I guess I'm returning to you very early for an album review. And this is for the long-awaited uh, album we've been waiting for, which is coming out on July 1st. Um, this is for Shinedown's new album, Planet Zero, that I just got done listening to. I am premiering this video, so just so you know, but I am recording it on... Uh, what is it, uh, June 29th, Wednesday, June 29th, so, yeah, you'll be seeing it around 6 or so for this to be released and all that, but, anyways, I'm gonna discuss what I listened to for this new Shinedown album, Planet Zero, and let you know my thoughts on it, and like I said, this will be premiered, so, don't have to wait very long, but, uh, if I have to premiere it the next day, uh, I will, but we'll just see what where we go from here. But yeah, let's dive into this uh, Shine Down Planet Zero album review. Now it starts with the first track, twenty one eighty four, and that was a pretty good opener. Um, it's actually only twenty two seconds, but it opens up going into the next song, which is No Sleep Tonight. So I'll give 2184 a 5 out of 5. It's just an intro track. It's a very short intro track, so it's not bad. But it's pretty good. Uh, no Sleep Tonight was really good, in my opinion. I really enjoyed this track. It's such a banger. And Brent Smith sounds really good with his vocals. And basically, it just... This song has a really catchy tune to it as well meaning the drum work and guitar work are pretty good in this song but it is pretty short it's probably the shortest song i've seen on this album but it's still pretty good so five out of five planet zero love this song such a banger it's probably one of the heaviest tracks on here along with saints of violence and innuendo so I'll give Planet Zero a 5 out of 5 still. I really enjoyed this track, even when I heard it at the beginning of this year, on when it came out, which was like January 26th of this year. So it was quite a bit of ways, like five months ago. So it's been out for about five months, this single. But it's a pretty strong single to for a title track. So yeah, 5 out of 5. I really love Brent Smith's vocal vocally and his yelling sings are really good in it and also his uh uh the chorus is pretty resonating uh sorry if i said uh i just paused for a second with what i was trying to say but it's a great song and i love the lyrics with the canceling your feelings and all that <laughs> so yeah um Five out of five for Planet Zero. Still a great song. Definitely go check out my track review for it. I did at the beginning of this year. I think you'll enjoy it. Uh, Welcome is where it just says Welcome to Planet Zero. Uh, you probably heard it from the little outro of the Planet Zero music video. That came out, I think, three months ago or something like that. I'm not 100% sure. A little over three months ago, but still, Welcome was a pretty strong inch interlude, so 5 out of 5. Dysfunctional You is a strong track, in my opinion. I like it lyrically, and I like Brent Smith vocally in this song. And the track resonated with me. With some, I wouldn't say resonated, but it's a very interesting song for what it's going for. I'm surprised it's a little melodic rock kind of stuff, so 5 out of 5 for this one. Dead Don't Die was pretty good, really enjoyed it, Brent Smith's singing in it is great, and uh, vocally he's great, and also uh, the drum work and guitar work is pretty heavy in this one, so 5 out of 5. Standardized Experiences is another interlude. There's quite a bit of interludes on this album, which I know to some listeners it could be annoying to them, but it actually works with what the album is going for, or uh, standing for and all that, so 5 out of 5 for this interlude. It's not really much of an interlude, it's like 42 seconds or something like that, I can't remember exactly for sure, 
somewhere around that run time. But next is America Burning, and that was weird at the verses with how it was sounding vocally with Brent Smith, and also with the melody choice, because it's definitely a political song, a very political song for certain a certain party that I don't want to get into political debates with and all that, so basically, America Burning, I really love this song, and the chorus is the best part of the song, so you'll be hearing a lot of political stuff in this song, so just a fair warning to some people who don't like politics, be warned for this song, because <laughs> um, you're going to get a lot of political uh, thinking after this song, you're going to be like, this was a political song, kind of thinking you're going to think and all that, so 5 out of 5 for America Burning, Do Not Panic is a pretty strong track, really enjoyed it, it's only like a interlude, so it's not really much, but it's still pretty strong, so 5 out of 5, A Symptom of Being Human is a strong track, really enjoyed this one, and I like the way Brent Smith is singing the song, so 5 out of 5 for this one. Hope was a pretty strong one. I think tracks 10 and 11 kind of were very melodic and mellow for what they went for, but they still did pretty good, so 5 out of 5. A More Utopian Future was a pretty interesting interlude to go into the next song. It's not very long, but it's an interesting interlude to go into Clueless and Dramatic. So, 5 out of 5. And Clueless and Dramatic, great song. Really love this one. So, 5 out of 5. Love the drum work. Love Brent Smith singing vocally. And uh, the guitar work's pretty strong in this. So, yeah. Sure is Fun is the weakest song, in my opinion. It is not my favorite song. I don't think I'm gonna like this. It has a, if you listen to it, you're gonna get like 21 Pilots migraine kind of vibe to it. That's how the melody is sounding to me at least. So yeah, I'm just not a fan of this song. So 2.5 out of 5 in my opinion. Daylight is a pretty strong song. I really like this one. Um, love the lyrics, it's very uplifting about, uh, uh, just making sure you always see the daylight and all that, like you have someone that helps you see the daylight, so it's pretty positive lyrics and uplifting too, so 5 out of 5. This is a warning, is getting a 4 out of 5, I think the melody is a little weird for this interlude, so going into the next song. But I think it somewhat works, but not to the point where I love it, where I think it's decent. So 4 out of 5. The Saints of Violence and Innuendo, great song. Really love this one. It's very heavy. It's much heavier than Planet Zero and much faster. And so is the next song after that, too. So, yeah, 5 out of 5 for Saints of Violence and Innuendo. Um, Army of the Underappreciated is a great song in my opinion, really love it, and I love the drum work from uh, Barry, and also uh, just uh, basically Brent Smith singing in it is really good, so you're in for a pretty interesting song, and pretty heavy Shine Down song, so yeah, We Live to Fight Another Day is one of the lyrics in the song, so I like I like that lyric with how Brent Smith is singing it vocally. So, 5 out of 5 for Army of the Underappreciated. Delete is a pretty strong interlude. It cuts out uh, close to the end of the interlude. And that's so weird. So, it's a pretty interesting interlude. So, 5 out of 5. And finally, What You Wanted is a solid track. It has pretty good vocals from Brent. But there's some wonkiness with how he's singing it at the verses of the song. And the melody is a little weird and off to me at least. So 4.5 out of 5. 
Overall, production, mixing, and execution, I think Shine Down Planet Zero was an average listen. It's not the best album. It's something. Something interesting. So you're in for an interesting listen for 20 tracks and a runtime of almost 49 minutes. So overall, I think Shine Down Planet Zero, uh, for what it's going for, I think there's three songs I have issues with, which is sure as fun being the worst of it all. I just don't like that song, and I'm very disappointed with that one and how it turned out. Um, and what else? This is a warning. The interlude was not very interesting, but it was okay. And what you wanted was my least favorite, too. So it was solid, but it was still a least favorite. But it was the stronger one out of the three that was bearable to listen through. So, yeah. Um, like I said, overall, Planet Zero, Shine Down. In my opinion, for a score, I'm giving it a 7.5 out of 10. This was an average listen. It's not the best album this year, but it's something. You're in for an interesting listen from Shine Down. And they did. They did put out some good tracks on this album, but some of the other tracks made the album lose a uh, good reception, meaning the reception and execution of this album had its wonky points at times, but there were so many interludes on this album, and I'm glad we got to wait a little bit for this album, but this album could have used a different song for instead of sure is fun it could have been a different melody to that song but hey we're getting what we're getting so 7.5 out of 10 for shine down planet zero comment below let me know what you guys thought of the new shine down album planet zero if you've heard it i know this is a lengthy review and i'm sorry that i made it so lengthy i just had a lot to talk about with this album uh, but Sure is Fun is my least favorite. It's the very weakest track on the album, and it's so disappointing. I was really disappointed with that one. But if you did enjoy this album review, like I said, for Shine Down Planet Zero, comment below and let me know your thoughts on it. Tap like on this video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you can support the channel. I will be returning to you for another review. Um, for the Saint Asonia Introvert EP's review, and I think after that is Imagine Dragons Mercury Act 2, because now the game just delayed his album a third time, or a second time, I meant to say. Um, he delayed it all the way to July 1st, and then he delayed it one more week later to July 8th, so I'm like, I don't know what's going on, so I'm like... Is he ever going to get that album out? <laughs> Honestly, so we'll just wait and see. He's a rapper, so I'm going to check his album out next Friday and see what I think of it. Because it's being delayed uh, another week. Because it was supposed to be out July 1st, but I guess he's having issues with production and all that. I'm trying to mix it one more time or something. But I hope you enjoyed this Shine Down Planet Zero album review. Keep in mind, I did the best I could to make it as good as possible. It is premiering, so just be on the lookout for when it premieres. It's going to upload by the time I upload it, but it's going to be premiered at a certain time today. So stay safe, take care guys, and as always, I will see you in my next review.